Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. So today, uh, another troubleshooting tips will be discussed. So, um, this is an Acer Aspire ES131, ES1-131 model. Uh, this laptop or netbook has built-in 2GB RAM, which is very limited when it comes to uh, processing because its OS or operating system is a Windows 10. We all know that uh, a Windows 10 operating system needs 4 GB uh, memory or RAM because of so many processes, so many resources running on it. Okay, so uh, what I want to discuss is how are we going to upgrade the RAM of this laptop or netbook in order for it to process uh, faster. So if you look at it, I am trying to manipulate this netbook. It seems that you can notice lags on its processing. So, what we need really is to upgrade it, upgrade its RAM to its maximum. The maximum RAM that supported with this model is 8 GB. So, we need to upgrade it to uh, 8 GB RAM. Okay, so I am trying to um, reset reset this its operating system to its factory settings but uh, it will not continue in the sense that um, it really lags it needs um, higher RAM for us to be able to continue its uh, reset process okay so if you notice yeah so I'm trying to recover, I'm trying to do the wizard of recovering uh, the operating system to its factory settings, but it will not really continue it's because of very limited uh, random access memory for processing purposes. So I'll show you how you're going to upgrade its RAM. And to cut it short, here is the process. So we have here the, the netbook. I'm taking out the netbook in its bag. Okay, so this is an Acer Aspire ES1-131 model with a built-in 2GB RAM. Okay, then of course here is the brand new uh, RAM DDR3 8GB capacity that will be installed of course. Then we need of course a precision tool. Thank you for Aurea for having this kind of very quality precision tool. course we need this to remove the cover and of course a magnetic plate for us to put all the screws removed from the laptop okay so what we're going to do is to remove the screws at the back
so just be careful of uh, removing the screws for not to damage of course the the female female um, for female screws where the screw will be inserted okay and of course we need to have uh, a map a map a mat uh, to for us to avoid uh, ESD or electrostatic discharge if there is need for us to make use of uh, ESD um, electrostatic discharge restrap of course we need to use that in order for us to not to damage of course the board the board of our laptop so uh, that's it we'll try to use this tool in order for us to separate the front cover and the back cover so this tool is a plastic heavy duty plastic why plastic because for us not to damage of course the label the the cover yeah so um, we should remove the battery first and all other connectors because this model of laptop has its uh, memory slot is located uh, at the bottom of our our board okay trying to remove of course the uh, wi-fi the wi-fi card Okay, and then of course remove the keyboard and then the monitor. The monitor connection and then look for the screws fixing the board. Uh, we have three screws here. That's number two screw. And of course we have the last one that's at the the other side that's it and then we'll try to lift the motherboard and it, this one this reveals of course the um, memory slot or RAM slot so this is a DDR3 dual data rate third generation kind of a random access memory with the capacity of 8 GB that's it so put it properly and then finally we we'll try to uh, bring back properly assemble properly Okay, and then of course we need to uh, put back all the connections like the Wi-Fi card, the, the LCD screen, the keyboard, the, the mouse pad, and finally of course the battery. We should put back the battery again for us to avoid um, short circuit in our in our board and of course don't forget don't forget to fix the connection of the Wi-Fi that's it then of course the keyboard we'll try to put back the connection of the keyboard then the connection of course of the touchpad located at the bottom then of course put back the connection of the LCD again just be careful not to damage the port and the connectors most especially if there are spins that we should connect okay so before 
of course before uh, connecting the battery don't forget to connect the hard drive don't forget to connect the hard drive for our OS operating systems and other files are being stored this is our secondary storage and then finally put back the connection of the battery pack then after that um, try to fix the screw screws of the board for us to be able to avoid shock whenever we are uh, traveling we should fix, fix it properly then put back the cover And then trying to put, of course, the uh, screws, especially on the top part. Why? Why do we need to put first this one? For us not to damage the connection between the, the monitor, the monitor and the body of your laptop. Okay, so before testing, you need to fix first this one before you are going to open the uh, the LCD okay to test we need to put first all the all the screws on top connecting the LCD and the body of our laptop that's it so we will fix later we will try first to uh, test whether our RAM being installed is working or not okay so We'll try to open. We'll try to open or boot up the laptop or netbook. Then checking whether uh, the 8 GB can read, can be read, or can be supported by this kind of model of laptop. Okay, it boots up, meaning the memory is being read because if happens that the RAM or the memory is not working meaning uh, it will not boot anymore it will not boot anymore so looking at our LCD our screen uh, the operating system is being loaded so we will try later on if 8GB really is the one that is um, being read by our uh, computer or laptop so it is normal that uh, upon upon the first boot when you change your your RAM it really needs to to uh, uh, don't you worry that why it lags why it it boots up very slow even though it's 4 GB it's even though a higher uh, RAM because the first time you are going to boot when you change your 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 RAM it's normal that it really it will needs to set in the RAM that is being newly installed so here it is we'll try to We'll try to log in and look for we'll look for the um, installed RAM. So earlier in my video, you can notice that it lags. It's it's very slow. The processing is very slow. But now, if you try to notice, just upon clicking on the enter uh, enter key, it already it. Uh, immediately loads up the desktop okay so let's try to let's try to locate the property of this computer if it's really uh, 8 GB on the uh, memory resources okay 
so if you notice there's already change in the processing so it is faster than before and of course uh, checking on the RAM installed RAM so we have already 8 GB okay installed RAM is 8 GB so if, I, if I'm not mistaken the usable there is already 7 point something because the OS needs 1 point something so there is uh, higher higher um, capacity of processing because there are higher free um, space of the RAM for other purposes so thank you uh, that's how we are going to upgrade the RAM of an Acer Aspire ES1-131 thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe on my channel have a good day